Okay, we are live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Attract Well Office Hours. I'm Coach Ashley. Today, we're joined by founders, Greg and Amanda Kilwine. Hey, guys. Hello, hello. hello. We're so thrilled to be back with you for another week of working on your business. I hope you poured yourself a cup of ambition, a la Dolly, let's get to work. Uh, this is intended to be a live work session, uh, so we can roll up our sleeves and work together on this call uh, on whatever you need help with in your business. We will come to these calls with specific topics. Uh, you can give your input on what these topics can and should be uh, by showing up, reaching out. Uh, you can head over to attractwell.com, sign up at attractwell.com forward slash office hours. Uh, just hit reply to any email that we send you. We're always looking to hear from you and to learn more about what we can do to help you grow. So uh, this is a free session uh, and we offer these every week at two o'clock Eastern time. And we are just so, so excited uh, to be able to do this for you, for your business. Uh, as we're coming in today, I would love to know what kind of business you have. So what is your business? I see Melissa is here from Buffalo. I was there this past weekend, Melissa. I love your city. I'm, uh, I'm downstate from you, but not quite all the way to the big city. Hi, it's so good to have you. So uh, let us know. Uh, a lot of folks who work with us are coaches. Uh, we have network marketers, virtual assistants. Uh, we have um, chiropractors, we have healers, uh, we have all manner of different types of practitioners uh, that our software works for. Uh, really at the core of what we have, uh, at the heart of everything is a contact manager and out from there, because you have a people-based business, everything that you need to manage and run it is all inside of one home with Attractwell. Uh, we see people come to us who have been using seven different types of systems, paying up to thousands of dollars per month, instantly save hundreds of dollars per month when they come over and start working with us. When you're with us, you don't need, uh, you know, Wix or Squarespace, Kajabi, MailChimp, uh, you know, there's just a whole bevy of different things that you have to link and duct tape together to be able to have a system that runs everything, all of your business in one dashboard where you can literally attract leads, track them through the pipeline, sell whatever you're selling to them, and then fulfill and work with them moving forward and even upsell and beyond that if that's what you want to do. You can automate to your heart's content, uh, or you could keep things really simple and really kind of old school people focused. All of these things work for you all for one great, super reasonable price. Uh, and we are uh, excited to have you all here today. So um, today uh, we're talking about basics. Uh, so uh, in our previous training, we talked about managing your business pipeline. Uh, in this training, we're going to talk about your business homepage. So I've got some slides to go through. If you are here today looking for specific help, please feel free. Ask any questions that you have, whether they're specific to our topic today or not, you, uh, just free for all questions in the Q&A, please, uh, so that we uh, can make sure that we see them. Uh, and then, of course, we are uh, so excited from there to help you and to answer them. Uh, let me turn my do not disturb off. It's so many things popping up on my computer right now. Okay, and I have slides to share that we're gonna go through. And then uh, exciting, I have a free thing for you to use in your AttractWell account. Now, a quick note for you guys. Oh, I'm gonna turn video off so these slides look good on the recording. If you guys could do the same, thanks. All right, uh, and just FYI, for those of you who are new to AttractWell, uh, if you are a Young Living brand partner, uh, we may look very familiar to you. Uh, we also have a platform called Get Oiling uh, that was originally built uh, for Young Living brand partners and has been operating for many years, serving thousands of brand partners there. If you are already a Get Oiling user, uh, you do not need to have AttractWell in addition. Uh, in the majority of cases, uh, feel free to reach out if you have questions about that. But any resource that you see shared, like the one I'm sharing with you today, is something that's also useful in your system. So if, uh, for the, the homepage that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today and all of those templates, uh, that's something you'll be able to use in your account as well if you have good oiling. All right, so this is AttractWell Office Hours. This is the business basics. We're going to talk about creating a custom homepage that works for your business. So here's what's happening today. We're going to have some training and then we'll get into some live help and Q&A after our training. First, I want to hear about your business. Leave us a comment or let us know in the chat what kind of business do you have. I know uh, some of you guys are just now coming on. I think we saw uh, VA, uh, we saw network marketing, 
coaches. Uh, let us know. We're always excited to know who we're working with so that we can tailor what we're doing on these calls to help your business. And uh, again, add anything that you want to the Q&A. If you want us to take a look at something you're working on, if you've got questions, not sure where to get started, feel free to ask those and pop them there. And of course, if you're watching this as a replay, get on the list for these live calls, attractwell.com forward slash office hours. We are thrilled to help you uh, on one of these live calls in the future. All right, so uh, maybe just a quick show of hands, you guys. If you're here today, do you have a website, like a homepage website for your business? Like show of hands. How many of you have your own homepage, like a custom, this is me, this is my business homepage? All right, it's about a third of us, I think. So um, so not, not everyone, right? Um, a couple more. Okay, so maybe most of us. <laughs> All right, great. So let me ask you this and put your, uh, put your answers in the, in the chat for me. Um, how is your website currently serving your business? What is it doing for your business? Is it just, you know, is it there because you know you need to have one? Is it generating leads for your business? Is it helping you to set appointments? Uh, is it doing some of the heavy lifting in your sales pipeline? What is your website currently doing? What's the function that your website is serving? Uh, leave us a comment in the chat. I'd love to know what that looks like. And, and guys, feel free to chime in because I can't see the chat. <laughs> Sure. So we've got here, oh, it's scrolling by really fast. Uh, it's a landing page to sell courses. Um, Joel has a lead magnet, but hasn't had anyone click on it. Uh, we've got somebody here who has a website that's currently a landing page for people who click on my Facebook ad so they can get the lead magnet I'm offering. That's what's come in so far here. A lead magnets business page. Okay. Okay, great. So you guys, uh, a lot of it sounds like you guys already know one of the most important functions of your website. So we're going to talk about that today for sure. So uh, what we're going to talk about is uh, what's in a website homepage that works. Um, and uh, we're actually going to show you how a, a do-it-yourself, your own custom website built on our platform can actually be very simple and easy using our templates. Uh, and those templates we are giving away to you today. If you were already on uh, the list, you should have these in your email um, that you can actually uh, click on and import straight into your AttractWell account today. And we'll talk about how to make it your own based on your business. Uh, so we can talk about that uh, as well. So the first thing that I want you to do uh, is uh, when you click the link that's in your email for the resource bundle, and guys, if you don't have it in your email and you're just getting started with us or you're seeing this as a replay, we will have this in the description uh, on our YouTube channel in the replay. Uh, so we've got this resource sharing bundle. You're just going to want to check that box right there that says, I grant permission to attract well to see that claim this bundle. And then you just click claim bundle. And what it's going to do is import a page template for you. Now, what I would recommend that you do is add those templates. You see these click here links, add those templates to your Canva account first uh, so that you can easily use them uh, as you are going through and making this page your own. All right. So um, if you have a lead magnet already, right? If you have a funnel already, so you've got images for it, maybe you've got a campaign written, go ahead and gather all of the things that you have attached or any links to that now. So if you have a campaign in your AttractWell account that you deliver when someone signs up, if you've got copy that you currently use on a landing page or a lead form or any sort of, uh, of collateral for that funnel, we want to gather those because we want to use those on our homepage if you have it. And don't worry if you don't have a lead magnet yet not a big deal. I'll talk with you about what you can use in its place for now. All right. So if you don't have a funnel yet, you can get this free course. Uh, you can go to attractwell.com forward slash client funnel challenge. This is a funnel that is for you. If you are a coach, a consultant, a network marketer, uh, if you are someone who has a people-based business where you would typically move someone into a sale, into a purchase, from a one-on-one -on -one interaction, all right? So if you do high ticket, this is perfect for network marketing and great for coaches who work with people one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and you'll learn a lot about what you can do with a funnel like this for things that are more automated, like course sales. Um, although it is important for me to note here that this, uh, this is a course that is geared a little bit more toward uh, a high touch funnel as opposed to a high tech fully automated funnel. 
All right. Now, and that's totally free, by the way, attractable.com forward slash CFC. You can use that. It's got templates. It's got trainings, walkthroughs and everything that you would need uh, to get yourself set up with your, uh, your own funnel that actually works in your business. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is walk through the homepage that I've created for you. And then we'll walk through how to customize it for your business. All right. So let's go see that in action. Uh, and, and also you guys, I think, um, if you've got any questions and actually I see the chat here, Joel, I'm so glad that you like it. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, that's definitely, um, that was a, a course that I really, uh, enjoyed making. So, um, I'm glad that you are liking it. And it works, right? Like it, it works incredibly well uh, if you've got everything set up correctly. Funnels don't have to be something that's like, I don't know, it doesn't have to be what a lot of people try to sell funnels as being. Um, it could be quite simple. All right. So when this is published on your site, your logo will show up right here where you see Attract Well Studios. And you'll see that you have this nice section here above the fold. Now, this is a homepage uh, that is really um, based on a, a wellness coach's business, right? So there's a wellness coach who is focusing on her sort of avatar, her ideal uh, client is someone who is a mom uh, who really wants to be able to have it all. Maybe she sees the she sees the women on Instagram who look like they've just got everything figured out. Their moms, their kids are always clean and nicely dressed and their house is never a mess. And she seems to have it all together and she's healthy and thriving. And she's like, oh, I need that, right? How many of you guys know that mom or maybe... <laughs> Maybe you've been her. Um, so that's who this is for, right? So we're saying, hey, mama, I'm here to help you find sanity in your daily grind so you can thrive as the superwoman you are. Uh, and what we're doing uh, for a lead magnet here is we're giving away a 28 day challenge. Now, if you are um, if you are on our Get Oiling platform, if you're a Young Living brand partner, this is based around Grow Workspaces 28 to Elevate, FYI. Uh, so that's actually something that you can use to connect with this if that's what you're into. Uh, but this can work for you no matter what kind of business you have. The most important thing that I wanna point out here, guys, is that this is above the fold. Um, above the fold is uh, for, you know, for, for, for you youngins who, I don't know, grew up without papers, <laughs> newspapers being sold on the street corners or in stands or whatever. Um, above the fold is the thing that you see when the newspaper is lying flat on the, um, on the counter. And it's the thing that makes you want to buy it because you see the headlines, right? So uh, above the fold on your website is really a really critical real estate for the same reason. People are going to decide whether or not they want to stay here, uh, whether or not what you have is for them, uh, and they want to keep scrolling. So it's really important to really capture uh, the attention uh, and offer something really compelling to your ideal person right here. Now, if you don't have any kind of lead magnet yet, one of the things that you can do right here is say your value statement, share your unique value statement. So I help this kind of person get, do, be, have this thing so that they can live the way they want to, right? So um, we could reword this and say, you know, I help motivated mamas find sanity in their daily grind so they can thrive as the superwoman they are, right? So that would be a similar kind of way of wording this. I think this sounds a little nicer. So um, what you could simply do here is offer for them to reach out and book a one-on-one -on -one call with you, right? And there's a really simple way I'll show you. You can keep this button here as well. Maybe swap this image with a picture of you. Totally an, a thing you can do. All right, so as we scroll through, we see this cool little parallax background with the flowers. Uh, Oh, and that is not correct here. We need to fix that. Uh, so now we're seeing in this next section sort of a breakdown of value. So um, this is what is it, what this entails. So I'm here to help you with this 28 day challenge. If they're like, okay, maybe I'm interested in this, that in the workbook, but I wanna see what else is on this page. I'm gonna tell them what else they'll find there. If you offer uh, a discovery call or a strategy call, you could certainly say what we'll cover on our call right? Or what you can expect. Um, this is a great way to sort of break down sort of how it looks to work with you, what the journey might be in working with you. So, uh, so you would be breaking these things down in this section. Uh, then we are asking her if she is ready to see that change that we know she wants in her life. Uh, this is where we're actually kind of making a harder pitch for the freebie that we're giving away. 
FYI, uh, for those of you who are into it, this same format, this exact same page I'm sharing with you right now is a fantastic format for a webinar style offer. If you want to do that kind of thing, right? Where we're saying, Hey, here's this thing. This is what it can do for you. If this is for you, you want it, get it. Here's some more about what you'll get in it. And then here's the breakdown. Here's what all you'll get, right? All right, so this is where we really uh, kind of build up the value of what they're gonna get in that freebie. Then we hear what others are saying. Uh, so this is a great spot to pop some testimonials, maybe clients that have worked with you uh, or, or clients who have worked with you in this in a challenge or something like this. Uh, and then there's about. I want you to notice this about, and this is Jane, she's not real, but she's our, our sort of um, our dummy here. Um, you notice there's not like, this is not Jane. Nothing up here is Jane. We find out about Jane down here. So we've been offering something and now, all right, now let's talk about me, right? So this is a really great spot for you to provide a little bit of context from your own story, some credibility from your own story, uh, but don't go too far into about you uh, because as even though it is your homepage for your business, as you well know, in a people business, your business is about who you serve. So we want to keep this brief and relevant. And then this button would ideally pop off to a separate page where you have your about me, where you really can go into the greatest depth that you want to really going through and spelling out your story. All right. Now we do have uh, some more options here. Uh, we only have a couple of blog posts here, uh, but if you have your blog, uh, we can pre-populate your blog uh, posts here, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then if there are other things that you offer, we could put this down here in the showcase as well. And then we've got a final call to action down here at the bottom. All right, so any of these buttons are gonna invite you to join the challenge. This, you guys, is the published version of the page that you have received with your resource bundle here. All right, so what we're gonna do is edit this. So if you wanna find this, and I'm gonna show you, Kathy, here in just a second, how you make those picture squares with the double frame. You're talking about this guy right here, or maybe, maybe these. Um, we actually have those right over here in the Canva templates. All of these are, so here's the, let me see if I can open this in a new tab. All right, so these are the homepage buttons. So if you want to invite someone to sign up for your mailing list, uh, all you have to do is add these to your Canva. And then just based on your own branding, you can swap out the colors, the text, or even uh, these elements. I do have the squares locked just to kind of keep the, the design they're uh, stable for you, but you could unlock them and you know change colors and things like that if you want. Uh, but basically what you're gonna, gonna wanna do is go through your, um, your Canva templates here in your resource bundle. I'm just gonna go ahead and open all of these and show you uh, what this looks like. And I'll show you where they go on the site. So these are the homepage images. So get on the list, book a call, join the community, read the blog, upcoming events, uh, get my giveaway, join the challenge, get the program, whatever those things are that you're offering. And they're going to go down here, right? Read the blog, join the community, subscribe for updates, book a call. I'll show you how I change those real quick. So this has a solid background right here. You absolutely have the option to Go over here, click elements, and then we'll search for, um, how about we look for someone who's running and we're going to find a photo and we're going to pop that in here. And then we're going to have this. There we go. We're going to replace the background with that. So that is how these were created. All right, now if you wanna create the images for this section up here, we're really doing the exact same thing just without the text, right? Pretty, pretty straightforward. <clears throat> okay, uh, let me see. Okay, one of the things that I have on this page is a really simple template just to give a circle crop to your photo. So all you have to do is click Jane's blurry image here and delete it. And just make sure that you have uploaded a nice picture of yourself uh, that is fairly high resolution. It doesn't have to be crazy high resolution, but let me just find a woman here, a uh, photo. All right, so maybe this is you, it's probably not. 
but we just drag it and we just drag it right over. This is a frame here in Canvas. So we're just gonna drag her over and then you're gonna download this with a transparent background, okay? So when you look at Jane over here in this about section, this, as you can see, is a transparent circle. So if you don't have a circle cropped photo, that is how you're going to get that there, okay? All right, now here's another one. This is the one that we used up here at the very top, right here, this join the challenge. And it's also where we kind of put the product uh, of what we're offering on the homepage. So that's what you find right here in this section and then also here in the pop-up. So uh, what you're able to do is actually you can click this and you can replace this with the image you create or modify in Canva. You could also use, we have a Canva button here in Attractwell. Uh, if you're going to be recreating a page like this one from a template that I've provided, I do recommend, unless you feel really confident with design, uh, that you go ahead and create the stuff in Canva first and then upload the images uh, to your um, like from your device uh, to the page here, as opposed to using the Canva button, because the Canva button does have some limitations. For instance, you can't um, you can't create multiple page uh, PDFs with it, uh, and you also at this point can't do uh, a transparent background. So uh, let's go back over to these real quick. Uh, we're going to use this template. I'm going to show you how to edit this Canva template here. Uh, if you want to change this here, so this girl who's drinking water, maybe I want to use, uh, maybe this is more about uh, meetings, numbers, figures. I'm going to type in business. Actually, I need to go to elements and then type in business. And I'm going to find photos. And then I'm going to drag this over here. And I'm using uh, two fingers on my trackpad. This would be a right click as well if you have a mouse. Uh, set image background. There you go. If you want, I feel like this is a little saturated, so it's a little hard to see. Uh, so we can either lighten the photo by taking the transparency down, right? Or uh, we could take this red, change it to your color of choice, and then maybe increase its transparency so that we can see it a little better, right? All right, now this is a frame as well this uh, laptop image that you see here. So this is a frame uh, where you can pop in whatever you like. You just drag it over just like you did with the circle crop. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you to uh, showcase things that you're offering. Uh, you could do something similar with an image like this on a sales page, especially if you're doing things that are delivered digitally. Uh, you can also create things that maybe have, uh, let me find a phone frame, I think is what we'd be looking for. Mm, I don't know if it would say frame, but it would be phone and it would be graphics. Uh, another way we could look for this, Canva changed just recently and I don't love it. Um, let's see, frames. If we go to frames and you go to see all, there we go, there's a phone. So you could also do this kind of thing with a phone, which is pretty cool. And you can, again, you can drag and drop images into frames if you wanna create that. So um, you can edit this again to your liking, change the colors, change the words, uh, whatever it is that you would like to do with this. Uh, but once it's done, uh, this image, you're going to want to export as um, just regular, right? So you're gonna to wanna to download it without a transparent background, this image one, because that is going to show up right here. Uh, but the second image, this one's going to be much nicer if you download this with a transparent background, uh, which should be the case if we look at it right here. Yeah, that's transparent. Okay. So that's that one. And then finally, the last one that I want to show you is the, the template, uh, the section background template. Now, this is a preset in Canva called blog banner. Right, so when you create a new thing, uh, maybe you wanted to create something inside of your Attractable account uh, and you wanted to use the Canva button, it is a design type called blog banner, just like this. It's quite large uh, and high resolution. And so what that means is, is that when you scroll, you can see, so you see how we're, we've got this nice big image that we're scrolling over with these roses. 
that's what we're using. All right. So this is already preset to blog banner. So all you're going to want to do is just delete this. And then we're going to find some new background. So maybe I want to look for tropical, something tropical or beachy. Look for photos. And then maybe I want to use this instead. Set images background and download it. All right, so uh, Kathy says, can you share the name of the font for the word challenge? I believe that font is Brittany and I can double check for you. Let's see. I think that's this one. Okay. Yep. It's called Brittany. B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y is this font. Uh, and you will be able to like, so this whole thing will import into your Canva. So Brittany will be here. Uh, all of those font faces should be there. I don't think I have anything custom in here. All right. Uh, so let's talk about how we edit this page to make it your own. When you're editing a page, in attract well, especially, well, whether you're getting started from the, the get-go, this is brand new, you're just starting to make a page or you're importing a template like this one, I always recommend that you hit up the settings first because you wanna be able to have a name that makes sense to you, that's this here, a name that's going to show up in the title bar right here, that's home, and then a link path, right? When you import a resource, this might not show up the way that you would want it to ultimately view, uh, or be viewed by your people or link paths can sometimes be important for SEO. Uh, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got those basic page settings taken care of right here. Uh, if you plan to be sharing this page on social, you do wanna use a sharing image. Um, and, and that's something that you can upload here and you can add a design from Canva for that. So that's um, pretty simple and straightforward. But anyway, uh, you wanna get the settings uh, set up first, at least here. Um, we want this page to be shown everywhere because it's your home page. We do want it published. Uh, we do want to show the header and the menu because, of course, you want people to see the header and menu and the footer on your website. Right. So let's go ahead and have that done and we'll move on to these settings here in just a bit. Uh, and those are our, our lead capture settings. There's a lot you can do with these custom pages and we'll do a lot more trainings on them in the future. We're just going to focus on uh, what you need in place for this specifically. Okay, so first things first, we've got our above the fold section. If you would like to have a different color for your background here, what you wanna do is, uh, is, is come over here to edit section settings, padding and background. That's this little pencil. And you see where I have a background color selected for you. Now you have a number of different options here. A color palette will show up. And now this will look different for you depending on your device. I am on a Mac, so this, eyedropper with this color palette and everything is something uh, that will show up for me. Uh, you'll see something slightly different on a PC. So what I'm going to do is just use this eyedropper and I'm going to go over to Canva in a different window and I'm going to select the color that I would like for my background to be and I'm going to click it and it's a terrible clash but you'll see what I'm doing here in just a moment. Here let me actually go back and may, oh, I kind of want to select a color that looks a little nicer. Okay. Um, all right. So I've selected a nice beigey color. I'm going to close out of this guy. I'm going to hit done. And now you can see how this background has changed. Now at this point, you're going to see that these things aren't really showing up quite as well, right? But maybe this nice mauve light color is your brand color. Um, what you'll then want to do is change the color of your font. So select it, go up here to text color, and then pick a new color for it right? So just keep those contrasts in mind. It's always more important to have things legible and visible, right? Um, and then let's join the challenge here. What you can do uh, if you want to change, if you don't want pink, go to style here. It'll pop down a menu. You can change it to any number of different things that you prefer. All right. Now I'm going to return this to its original state because this is your template that you're receiving. <laughs> All right. Now, if you want to change this pretty rosy thing back here as rose and eucalyptus background. Uh, we're going to do something very similar to what we did with the color. Oh, you know what, before I do that, sorry, we, we need to swap this image. If you have created a new image, we're going to click it. We're going to hit replace, drop image, and then you're going to go and find the image that you have created to replace it. 
and that's going to open up. If you've already uploaded it, you're going to find it here in your uploaded images. Okay, now let's get to this background. We want to edit the background with a pencil and there is an image selected, but I don't think I have it in this one. So if we wanted to use like this tie dye, for instance, we could do that. Uh, but if we want to add a design from Canva, we could do that as well. Let's go ahead and upload the image that I have created here that I've already downloaded and apply that one. I'm going to give it just a moment to upload. Looks like it's taking a moment on my computer here. All right. And then we're just going to add it just like that. And you can see that it's already applied. I'm going to hit done. And then we're probably going to want to change this, right? There we go. We'll make that white. All right. So we have that. And if we save and view it, let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to refresh this homepage. There we go. So now you see that we have this nice green image here. Now, going back over to our page editor. Sorry, just a second. Can you guys still hear me? I've got a, got a weird thing yeah, happening I can hear on you. my computer here. Yep. Okay, thanks. All right. So um, anyway, so what you want to do is, is if you want to have that parallax background uh, where we're kind of hovering over when we scroll, make sure you do have parallax selected there. Uh, you can adjust uh, its position where it starts. Uh, you can add any kind of padding. Basically, all this is is just adding space to the top or bottom of a section. And, uh, and then we'll be done from there. In any case, uh, if you want to uh, swap out images here, swap out text here, it's very straightforward. You click, you click replace, and you add the Canva template image that you created and downloaded, and you swap these out. Now, what if you want to use a two section, like you want two photos instead of four, maybe you want three photos instead of four. We have a couple of different options here. If you go over here to add section, and all I did was I, I hovered till I found this little plus button, I went to photos. You could add a two photo strip. There's a four photo strip, three photo strip, or under general, we do have this three column no header, uh, which is also a great one to use. What I used here is the four photo strip. All right, so over here, and this is you would be changing this background as well uh, to match the one from above. There we go. Make sure you swap out that color so that this is legible. Then you're going to want to swap out this image, swap out your text, of course, change any button colors that you want to change, right? Swap this out. Keep all of these the same, right? If you want to kind of keep that nice, like I'm hovering over the same image look. Uh, here you'll also uh, be swapping out the, um, the templates that I've provided for you here with your testimonial images. You can use those. Uh, and then let me get back to my page, sorry. Um, then we've got our about. It's just a matter, guys, on these templates of clicking, hitting replace on the image, putting the image that you want there, uh, selecting the text that you want, adding the text that you want there instead. And then where you want to add a link somewhere, you're just going to hit edit link and then the URL field. You can add whatever you want to put here, or uh, maybe you have an about me page or something like this that you can uh, select that's already on your site. You can do that with this little uh, choose link feature. Now, a couple more things real quick, you guys. If you have a blog and you have been blogging, it is important that you are using a featured image because you can use this really cool thing right here, which is the recent blog post feature. That's these three down here in our section templates. Uh, that is um, the one that I have here, I believe is this one. And I've just removed the header on it. Uh, and the buttons. So this section will automatically display your recent blog posts right here, if you have any. So if you don't have any, but you wanna keep this here, you could always hide this section by blanking out these so it's not visible on any device. And then if you have other things that you offer that you wanna link off to, maybe you do have a blog, maybe you don't, maybe you want this to be three 
uh, images instead of four, totally up to you. Um, join the community could lead off to your vault. It could lead off to a Facebook group. If you have a Facebook group, uh, subscribe to updates. That could be a great place to go off to another landing page for people to sign up for your newsletter and book a call would be a great place for people to uh, book a discovery call with you. Uh, and if you guys want, let us know in the chat uh, and in email or in the comments on YouTube, if you're interested in seeing a discovery call funnel uh, broken down on one of these upcoming calls. I'd be happy to show you what I personally use and what I share with my clients. And then finally, we've got our call to action section here. Uh, you can swap the image background out here. I've used the same one that I have through all the rest of the page. And then everywhere, and this is sort of a final piece because now we're moving toward getting the lead part of this page figured out. Having your website generate leads is like one of the most important functions it can have, right? It is, uh, it's, it's a fancy business card if it's not generating leads. And while fancy business cards are nice, we want things that do hard work for our business. So everywhere that we have a call to action to join the challenge, join the challenge, and finally join the challenge on this page, we want to use a special code in the URL field. And what that is, is hashtag lead, L-E-A-D. All right, so on every button that you wanna use on this page to pop up the lead form, you wanna put hashtag lead, okay? So if we've got that done on all of the buttons we wanna use, then all we need to do is go over to settings and set up our lead form, all right? You don't have to use the lead capture headline. I'll actually show you, in this case, I haven't used it. I need to refresh this page. Um, I'll show you that in just a second. My computer is slow. Uh, so I've got this image here, reflects what's on the page. We're giving them the clear call to action to join the challenge, what, they'll, what will happen when they get access to it. Uh, I'm not using a pop-up on this page. If you're using a newsletter as your sort of call to action, I think that's a really great thing to, to offer as a maybe an exit intent pop-up. So if that's if the visitor tries to leave the page, you could click here. And if they try to leave, they'll be asked, hey, before you go, right? Um, you, you can say, hey, before you go, would you like this thing, right? Uh, but the way that I have this set up, there's so much call to action on the page. I don't feel like a pop-up is warranted. So um, I've got a submit button label, which is gonna show up at the bottom right down here, join the challenge. There's no header here. It's just what we're showing. Join the free challenge and the image. We're asking for email and phone um, and name. We are requiring name and email. Um, if you don't want phone to show up, you can uncheck this and it will just show name and email. And in a future uh, training, we can go over in depth how you can really customize these lead capture form fields to do things like discovery call applications, intake forms, things like that. Um, and then after your lead registers, if you have a funnel in place already, so you already have a lead magnet and a campaign and all of that is set up, you're simply going to co connect your funnels campaign right here. And you're going to send the lead to your confirmation or thank you page that you would pull up here, right? Confirmation, we'll just pull up confirmation here. So we'll send them to the confirmation page for your free thing. Um, you're going to add a tag to them for whatever the free thing is that you're giving away. I highly recommend that you put in lead uh, or website lead. Uh, also put in challenge lead, perhaps uh, in this case, because they are a lead signing up for the challenge. All right. Uh, if you want to redirect to somewhere entirely different, let's just say, for instance, you're trying to move people over to a Facebook lead group. You could also pick a URL that's off site if you choose. That's totally, totally up to you. All right, and that's basically it. Just make sure that once you have this all customized and set up as you want, you hit save, you hit view, and you come over here and you check out your good work. And that's it. So I'm really looking forward to any questions that you guys have, happy to walk through anything uh, that you guys need to see. I know it's, it's kind of lightning speed and it's a lot to go through. If you haven't done any of this editing before, I just really recommend that you get in and play with it uh, because you're going to get better the more you do, right? So I do see one question in the Q&A. All right, uh, I'd like to learn how to create a mobile friendly version of my page. Not sure how to do this side by side with my normal pages. My images look wonky on mobile, but great on computer. That's a really good question. Uh, our page builder, all of our site is uh, mobile responsive. 
uh, you, as you're building your page, can see how it will look by shrinking it or, you know, taking the published version and looking at it on your phone. Um, so let me go back over here and show you a couple of options. So for this, for instance, we're looking at this on a desktop right now. If we shrink it down, and all I've done is I've, I've just shrink the browser as thin as it will allow me to go. Um, this will give you an idea of what it could look like. So I can see here that this is going to show up on top. Sometimes uh, if you know that you get a lot of mobile traffic, like maybe your primary audience is on Instagram or something like that, you may want to really focus on designing your site for mobile. Um, and so what you would do then is, is you would, you know, maybe this would be uh, centered as opposed to left oriented. Um, you know, these things, may, maybe you make these images smaller, maybe you don't, right? Uh, so this is actually pretty well, uh, pretty well formatted uh, for, for mobile. Right. Uh, if you want to um, make things look differently on mobile than they do on desktop, though, um, there is a way to do this. And let me show you what that looks like here. So like I mentioned before, if you wanted to hide a section that's on this template, you know, you don't want to delete the section on the template because maybe you want to use it in the future, uh, but you're not ready to use it or, or you're working on it. It's not ready to be seen, whatever um, these little guys right here, visible on mobile, visible on portrait, small screen computers and large screen computers. You can choose what type of device each section is visible on. So uh, so what you could do is, is, let's just say for instance, you wanted this section to behave differently on mobile or look completely differently on mobile than it does on desktop. Uh, what you would do is you would duplicate the section uh, oops, that's not how you do it. Sorry. This is duplicate button right here. <laughs> you just duplicate it like that. So now we have two of them. So this one I'm going to disable from small devices. And this one I'm going to disable from large devices. So let's look at this. So I'm, and the only change I'm going to make here is just to center these guys. So I'm going to select from this header all the way down here and center it. All right. I'm going to save that. I'm going to come back over here and refresh to view my changes. Oh, I need to remove that exit intent. I totally kept that on here, didn't I? No, I didn't. Never mind. I have lead. Okay. So right here, um, you can see this is the one that we have here. It's left oriented, right? Now watch what happens when we shrink it, you see how it's centered? So you can use two different sections for this. Uh, I'll show you another, like an actual client's like published page that does this, her homepage. Um, here we go, here's Jackie. So we've got this nice picture of her here. Uh, and when we shrink down, it changes, right? Because if we use this same image in this section, this text would be all over her face and it would be impossible to read, right? So we've, we've changed this from desktop and, and sort of wider devices to if you're on mobile, you're gonna see this, okay? What else, what else? Do we have any other questions? Let's see, please make sure if you have questions to put them into the Q&A so we don't miss them. Um, cause I think there are definitely some in the chat. Um, if your blog header has two lines versus one line, it gets off centered horizontally with the pictures around it. How can we get around this? That is a good question. And I'm not entirely sure I haven't uh, dealt with that. Greg. I, um, this might be a good one to like send in a, or, or do you have like a, a link to a page that is that maybe we could look at, this is something that I think I would need to see. Um, to help out with and I think I have kind of an idea what you're talking about but not entirely sure um, there may be some ways to get around it depending on how you set up the sections and all that um, but yeah if you have the page certainly drop it in chat or whatever or you know if you want to and you don't have it on hand um, send it into support at trackwall.com we can check it out after this call too okay we, we, we did have a question from Ariel here um, some contact cards say website page and others say landing page. What's the website page? 
That's the difference between, um, so on the menu there, there's the landing page feature under the contacts menu, and then there's also the pages link a little bit farther down under the website menu. It's just, they both capture leads. They're just slightly different ways of doing it. Like the landing page ed editor is like the quick and easy way of making a page, but there's less formatting flexibility. Whereas the page builder, uh, where it says website page, that's the full, the page builder um, that you can basically have all the design freedom that you want to. So essentially it's a landing page in both cases, or a, a lead capture page, I should say, but uh, just different variations in how we call that inside of Trackball. I hope that helps. Excellent. I think um, there's another question from Ariel. On my thank you page, I have a video and button, which is a lead form. In my contact card, some people, okay, that's, is that, that's the question? Let's see. Um, oh yeah, that was a question, yep. Yeah, yeah. So in your, um, on those individual contact cards under, uh, was it like past events, um, you can click any of those things and see whatever was entered. Uh, so if you are using a longer form, so like an intake form, discovery call form, something like that, you're going to be able to see all of the answers to all of those questions if you use, you know, a lead form um, in the in this sort of past events section in the contact card. You want to import some blogs from another location. How can you do that? So it's not a direct import, uh, like you know literally bring it over from WordPress, like you'd push a button or something. Um, but uh, but what I recommend that you do, uh, I was just talking to a client with this uh, about this in a, the other day, Greg, if you have any input on this, uh, definitely share. Uh, but what I would do is, is first like go through and gather everything. So um, I was suggesting to them to use uh, like Google Docs. Uh, so you've got uh, basically the main things that you want to have it are the, um, the headers, the body and in the body, of course, you need any any images or any links that you um, that you want to include in there. And then any images that you're using and that may be multiple kinds right so a blog featured image may just be something that you're using as a thumbnail for the digest section of your site. Uh, and some other kinds of images might show up on the blog post itself so any images associated with a blog post and then it's metadata. So if you put metadata in, so this is kind of the stuff that you put in to talk about what the blog post is about that the search engines read. Uh, so you want to just basically gather all of that information and bring it over. Um, and, um, and what I would recommend that you do is uh, if you want to sit down and sort of batch your work to say, like, you know, input all of these blogs, schedule them to post so that they're dripping out over time. Uh, it's going to be more advantageous for you to have, you know, regular activity happening on your site versus just, you know, popping a whole history of a ton of posts uh, in there. I hope that helps. Let's see, any others, any others? There's one more in the Q&A. What is the path on the Get Oiling back office for the fastest way to create a simple monthly newsletter? A new menu tab, uh, menu tab campaigns, um, actually, no, Cheryl, what I would do is create a saved reply. If the newsletter is a single email, like you're doing a newsletter once a month, like a monthly newsletter, do a saved reply, uh, do a saved reply, grab one of our newsletter templates, swap out the, um, the images with the, the placeholders there, uh, format what you want, use the links that you want to use, uh, especially the static ones. If there are calls that the link is always the same, uh, PV promos, those links that there's a link on their site that's always the same, login information, whatever, like try to use as many static links as possible. So that all you're really doing is saying, here's the updates, uh, you know, but go over to the, especially if you're using a vault to educate your people, go over to the vault, get all the updates, right? So I would, um, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend that you use a safe reply for that because then all you have to do is select the contacts that you want to mail it to, select mail from actions, select your saved reply, make whatever edits, very few edits that you plan to make for that month and schedule it off to send. And you could even like have that pre-scheduled ahead of time. Uh, so let's just say, for instance, and since we're talking about your young living, or really it's going to apply to any network marketing business where you've got monthly promotions that, you know, I don't, depending on what your rank is, you may not know about it until the first of the month, but you can have it prepared and scheduled to send because you know that you're going to have the information by X date and time, right? So it's mostly done. You just go in, you make the changes and you send it off. Good to go. 
uh, you find those newsletter templates, Cheryl, if you go into saved replies and uh, and, and you actually just pull uh, the, the saved replies down from the templates. So here, let me, I'll, I'll show you real quick. It's pretty, pretty simple and straightforward if I go over here to the dashboard. And then I'm going to go to just search for saved replies up here, contact saved replies. I'm going to create a saved reply. Uh, and then you can actually grab a saved reply right here. And so we have templates here, blank newsletter templates uh, on our Get Oiling site for Young Living Brand Partners. There's a lot more of this, a um, lot more of these kinds of things, but you just drag one, you put it in here. Uh, you could even add another one if you wanna keep it going, make a nice long one with lots of buttons and pictures and stuff to your heart's content. So um, those are actually in there when you go to create a saved reply. Yeah, and for sending it, there's actually a relatively, it's a relatively new addition, but there's a button that says send an email or text right on the dashboard, and you can click that, and then it'll ask who you want to send it to, you can choose your contacts, and then it'll pop up the editor, and there is a place you can choose the saved reply right there. So you don't, know, you don't even have to leave the dashboard if you don't want to, if you're going to like send it to everybody, or send it to somebody who's filtered on a given tag. That's right. That's right. And and yeah, the, the saved reply option, like just branding your saved reply with as many links and, and standard information you send every month as possible. And just knowing that I'm going to swap for this, swap for that picture, link, text, done. Um, that's what I personally recommend and what I have my clients do who are like managing that or even having VAs to do it for them. Um, all right, Ariel, your question, you uh, mentioned we can ditch other services like MailChimp. Yes, you can. Uh, someone who shares a MailChimp or Mad Mimi file, is there a way to download it to a track? Well, yes, you can export your database file. So your, your database of contacts from whatever service you have. So this would be from your genealogy list from your network marketing company, your list from uh, Constant Contact or MailChimp or Mad Mimi or whoever you use. Uh, and then if you go into your AttractWell account, uh, this is actually really um, easy to find in your dashboard. If we go to do to do import contacts, it's actually like right there at the top. Let me show you right at the top in your dashboard. It's one of the main things that you can always do. And that is import contacts right here. But you could always click this little guy here and just type in import or contacts. Right, you search that and you can, there we go. And they're all there. Okay, answered, answered. Okay, if I create a newsletter, attract well using template, is there a way to download it and share it with people on my team who may not be using attract well but want to send a newsletter? Uh, no. Um, the case where maybe starting so. with a Google Doc would be a good idea. You know, you mm -hmm. mentioned or Canva. that before. Or Canva, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can, um, I mean, if you want to create something that is, yeah, I, yeah, a Google Doc would be the way to go and then just use whatever Canva images you want to. Um, we did a training for a team leader in another company recently where we created a bunch of resources in AttractWell for their team, uh, but then just basically copied the body messages and links and stuff and images that would have been in those messages into a Google Doc for anybody who's on the team that's maybe not ready to start using a more advanced system yet, right? So that's definitely something. Um, that you could do. You just wouldn't be able to export the exact same design. It would be just the content because you can't really, I mean, it's different It's different software that creates all of these different platforms and how they work. So it's not like a one-to-one. -one. There's definitely a way to transfer the pertinent information. Hey, anything else? Great questions, you guys. Is there anything else you're working on? You have questions? We got, I, I mean, if I don't have the answers, I know he does, he made this. <laughs> <laughs> guilty <laughs> <laughs> all right well if that's it you guys uh oops, it's not it hey so if i create a newsletter in canva i can upload it to attract all the email out not exactly so what i recommend doing i'll show you what i recommend doing is if i go over here i'm going to create a saved reply so it's going to be under saved replies what I'm going to do is create a new one and I'm going to grab a couple of the formatted templates that I like. 
So my newsletter, I'm going to grab this number one, because I like this here. Um, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to grab all of them because I might like, here we go. It's two, two is the one that I like the most. I'm going to delete one here. Oops. Okay. There we go. So, um, what I would do is just keep going with whatever we want to add here, but okay. So here's what I would do. I, I would have your Canva image that you want to use that goes right here. Right. So what I use for this one, if I'm recalling correctly and forgive me, I think I have, I have a template in this that I use for clients and I can find it real quick. Um, I want to say it's the same one that I use for the blog header on our site. Um, newsletter header. Let me find that. Newsletter header. Here it is. Okay. So yeah, it's 2240 by 560. And so what I would do is, you know, here we go, your newsletter name. I'm going to download that first one because I like it. Just the first one and download. It is quite large and in my way on my computer. Okay. So much to maneuver. I mean, you think when you have such an enormous screen that it would be easier to like <laughs> maneuver things around. Okay, uh, so here we go. Here's my download, voila. All right, so newsletter name is here. All right, uh, what about newsletter side image? I've got one of those. I recommend 630 by 1200 for that one. I'm gonna use that one here. Uh, and maybe for this, we're going to say October updates or something since it's October now. So October update, I'm going to make it nice and big. And since we're, we got kind of a fun design here, I'm going to make it sideways. I'm going to download that. And since this is a template in my Canva account, I could come back next month and say November. Spread it out a little bit and download it and use it next month and just swap out this image right here because it's I'm making a saved reply. I'll be able to use this every single month, right? So where did it go? Oops, I downloaded all of them. All right, so basically what I would do is, you know, here's your newsletter name, this is the month, here's the basic information I tend to use, maybe there is a static link that you would be sharing every month that, you know, updates itself every month to, you know, if you're, if you're a network marketer, you're going to find multiple things like this on your company site, um, or on your own site, if there are pages that you update, or if you use a vault uh, for educating your clients, um, that would be a great place to do this as well. Uh, but yeah, I would just set this up and, and replace things um, monthly if you, you know, if you need to change them, if you want to change stuff like that. Um, then you're just, it's just a matter of swapping out text, swapping out fonts and calling it a day. So let me go ahead and just save this. So this is a newsletter template uh, blue and I'm gonna save it. And now if I want to uh, find my contacts, uh, I'm gonna go filter for people who were in a course maybe who I'm gonna send a newsletter to or something like that. Uh, and so that's gonna be the, Mm, I don't know what you want to do. I'm going to, I'm going to do that one hit filter. So I've got 30 contacts. I'm going to hit filter done that. I'm going to go to actions. I'm going to go to mail. And now if I go to saved replies, I'm going to go find that newsletter template blue and change whatever I need to change here. So maybe it's November. Now I'm going to swap this out with this months uh, thing. Maybe this, uh, this link needs to be swapped out for the next, uh, you know, another link or something like that. So then you're just basically using that same tool over and over again. I'm glad that helped. Good, good, good. Okay, great. You guys, excellent questions. Uh, we're always excited uh, to hear what you're working on. So um, don't be shy and share. And I would look forward to having you back here same time next week. Thanks for being here. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you.